Hi, I'm Emily and welcome to my channel. If you like what you find here, please hit like and subscribe and then you'll be notified whenever I post something new. Hi yogis and welcome to class, I'm Emily. In this class we'll be working up towards the compass pose, which is a pose that requires a lot of hamstring flexibility and some hip mobility and flexibility. So we will be doing a lot of pyramid pose, some Ardha Hanumanasana and lizard pose, etc. to work into your hips. And if you know that your the ground, the mat, is often far away when you're doing, for example, pyramid pose, make sure to grab two yoga blocks and place them somewhere around the top of the mat so that you can place them under your hands while we are working in the pyramid pose. Also, you will be needing a strap, preferably with a loop on the strap. There wasn't one on this one, so I'll just arrange that quite quickly. And this is because we will be doing some hamstring stretching at the beginning of class. So get your props out and we'll meet in happy baby's pose. Bring the strap next to you as you lie down. So soles of the feet pointing up towards the ceiling. Grab the pinky toe edges of your feet. Close down your eyes. Rest your shoulder blades down towards the mat. Make your hands heavy. And start to soften into the groin, into your hips. Your knees are dropping down towards your armpits. And start to notice the rhythm of your breath your individual ryth rhythm, the steady pace that floats in and out. Notice where you feel the breath. And try to, as you inhale, widen your ribs, both to the front, the back, to the sides. And see if you can equal out the length of your inhales and your exhales. Find length along your spine. Notice if you Still, you're holding on some sort of tension around your hip and your groin. And try to use the next exhale to release that. In this class, we are going to use the method of PNF, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation, which means that you will be you're activating the muscles, but they are not moving. And we'll start doing that already here. So start to press your feet into your hands and your hands are holding back and this will really engage your like they open up a feeling of opening up through your hips. And let's do this for five, four, three, two, one and release. As you go make sure that your tailbone is still pointing down towards the back of the mat or the front rather. Let's do it once again. Press your feet into your hands. Your hands hold back. Press it in. Feel the groin as it opens. Five, four, three, two, one and release. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Give them a little bit of a hug and then extend your left leg out. Bring your strap and place that little loop that you made along or on over your right foot. Take an inhale, flex the right foot. So toes, toes are pointing down towards your face and exhale without pulling the strap. Just try to move 
your right leg as close to your upper body as you can, just using the muscle force here. So keep going. And then when you feel ready, you can grab the strap or if it's very easy for you to grab the foot, do that and gently keep flexing the foot, keep flexing your left foot too. Make sure that you have some nice length along the back side of your left leg as well. And then bring your right foot closer to your upper body and release. Right hand grabs the strap and drop your right foot out to the side. Your left hand comes to your left hip bone to just place a little weight there to remind you that the left hip is not going to rise up. Open the hip out to the side. Flexing the left foot, stay active in this pose and bring your right foot back once more. Inhale, exhale, bring the foot closer, flex the foot, press the heel up towards the ceiling and release, let go of the loop, straighten out both legs and just feel the difference of your right leg and your left leg. And then bring your left leg in, loop it in, and now get, get lost. <laughs> Don't touch the strap. Flex the foot and start to pull your left foot, your left leg to your upper body, flexing again through your right foot, pressing out through the heel. Use your lower core to bring that leg closer, closer. And now grab the strap or the foot, whatever is of reach to you, and hug the foot and keep flexing it. Keep the activation around your knee. Keep the activation around your right leg. Breathing deeply. Full inhales and full exhales. Slightly release, the left hand grabs the strap with an inhale, exhale, drop the left foot out to the left, right hand to your right hip bone, flexing through the right foot again. Keep the right hip down. Maybe bring your left foot a slightly more up towards the face. Just notice, do any kind of wiggles or movements so that you find somewhere where you can work with something. And bring the foot back. Inhale and exhale, bring it back, flex the foot, flex the toes, hug it in. If you want to, you can always massage it. I like to massage the, my hamstrings and backside as, as I try to do these stretches. And release. Nice work. Just going to bring in a little bit of core work here, here, of course. So bring both feet towards the ceiling. Bring your arms up and inhale, drop your feet down, and your arms come overhead. Exhale, bring them back up, little lift at the top. Inhale, drop it down, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Only bring your feet as far down as you can still keep your lower back pressing down towards the mat. Next, inhale, drop down, exhale, bring your right knee to chest. Inhale, legs out, left knee to chest, exhale. Inhale, right knee. Inhale, and left knee. Inhale, and right knee. Hug it in, really squeeze it. Inhale, left knee. Once more each side, you can do it. Inhale, right knee. Straighten and left knee. Nice. Hug both knees in. <sighs> Grab hold of the back of your thighs. Do a couple of rolls around the spine as you roll. Massaging your spine. Use these rolls to really massage. And then widen your feet apart. Come all the way forward into Malasana. And this is where you can place your blocks for the future. 
So come to Malasana, somewhere at the top of the mat, lift the chest, clasp your hands, all your fingers, except the pointer finger that will be pointing up. Press your knees slightly apart, if you want to, with your elbows, but keep the chest lifted, hug your navel in towards the spine, take an inhale, one exhale. Next inhale, spike through your heels and press all the way up, arms overhead, straighten your legs, exhale, back to Malasana. Inhale, straighten, rise up, exhale. Keep pressing down through your feet, inhale, and exhale. Next inhale, weight into your right foot, bring your left knee up in towards your armpit, exhale, sink back down. Left leg and right knee rises, exhale. Inhale, left knee comes up, exhale, Malasana. Right knee rises, exhale, Malasana. Once more, left knee come up. From here, hands in front of your heart. Bring your toes to point straight forward. We're gonna set it up for three posts. So place your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Press your right thigh into the foot. Your foot presses back. Press your hips forward. Inhale, and then place your left hand to your left inner thigh, just gently. Press the thigh out to the side. Extend your right arm up. Keep your lower ribs in. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale, release the left foot from the thigh. Hands in front of your heart. Keep the left knee bent and shift the weight forward. Hinge from your hips. And with that left knee bent, point your left toes up towards the ceiling. This might fire up the hamstring of your left leg. Take an inhale, lift the navel from the spine. Exhale, extend the left leg out. Warrior three, flex the foot, toes point down. Inhale, and exhale, slowly drop the left foot to the back of the mat. Lower the left knee down. Find your hand position once again. Index fingers up. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, start to lift the chest, drive through that right foot, through that right heel, exhale. One more inhale, how much length can you find in your left hip flexors? And exhale, fingertips, framing the front foot, straightening the front leg, flex the foot, draw the toes in towards your upper body, lift halfway, inhale, and exhale, fold. This is also where we're gonna do the P and F. So it's gonna work like that. You're gonna press down through your right heel, almost pulling it in towards the left knee. And we're gonna hold that for five and we'll do it twice. So start pressing the heel down, pull it to the boards, the back knee for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Bend your le right knee, lift the chest, and come all the way back, Ardha Hanumanasana and press down for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, bend into your right knee. Bring your arms, your hands back. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, straighten the front leg and fold finger points straight forward. We're gonna pulsate here three more times. Inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Pull your right toes towards your chest. Inhale, lift, exhale. Once more, all the way up. And this time, as you fold, place your left fingertips on the inside of your right leg and sweep your right arm up towards the ceiling for twisted Hanuman, still pulling down through the right heel. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine, tailbone to the back, top of the head, to the top of the mat, bend your right knee, sweep the right arm back, your left arm sweeps up, inhale, stay, exhale. Inhale, press down through your left toes to lift the left knee up, exhale, sink your hips down. Inhale, lift your left arm up towards the ceiling, and exhale, windmill your arms down, frame the front foot, 
press the mat away, sweep the right leg all the way up and back, three-legged downward facing dog, maybe adjusting yourself on the mat. Inhale and drop your right toes to the mat, keep the leg straight, exhale, bring a straight right leg, straight back up, drop it down, inhale, exhale, bring it up. Find space between your shoulder blades, press equally down through both hands and feet, drop it down, exhale, once more down, exhale, bring it up, stay one, inhale, and exhale, gaze in between your hands, come as high as you can on your left toes, round the back, step your right foot forward, fingertips down, this is where the blocks can come in, drop the hips down and lift the chest. So if you don't have your hands down, your palms down here, it's going to be difficult to lift the chest. So only fingertips or arm blocks. Inhale and exhale. Start to straighten the front leg and rock onto your right heel. Pull your right toes to the, your, uh, your nose really. Inhale, come back, lift the chest, drop the hips. Exhale. Rock into this modified pyramid pose. Inhale, sink. Exhale, modified pyramid. This time as you sink down, plant your left palm, circle your right arm up, gentle twist, inhale. Exhale, right arm behind you. Straighten the front leg, toes pull in, folding over your right leg, modified pyramid. Inhale, circle the right arm all the way up. Exhale, place it behind you and fold. Once more like this, inhale and exhale. Last one to the top, inhale, gaze up. From here, turn all your toes to the right and press down through the pinky toe edges of your feet. So keep your li hips lifted. Just stay, keep it up, keep it going, inhale. Exhale, come all the way back, circle the right arm back, then forward, all toes forward, and then start to Sweep the right arm forward all the way in to Skandasana, bending the left knee, pulling the right toes towards your upper body. The Skandasana can be high, can be low. Find your variation. Inhale, center. Goddess pose has a little wiggle, wiggle. Exhale, bend the right foot, draw the left toes in. Lift the chest. Inhale, center, sink deep. Exhale. Inhale, come to center, and exhale to the right. Gonna do one more to the left, and sink down, stay one inhale, exhale, sit all the way down. Place the sole of the left foot towards your right inner thigh, bring your upper body so that it's facing the right leg, arms to the ceiling, inhale, Exhale, folding over your right leg into Janashir Sasana. Still pulling your toes in, flexing both the feet, foot and the toes. Try to find a little bit of length through your lower back. Inhale, sit all the way up. Turn so that you're facing more to the side in between your legs and place the right forearm to the inside of your right leg or just the hand, the back of the hand down, whatever fits. Inhale, sweep the left arm up and exhale. Lift and fall to the side for a nice side stretch on the left side, reaching for your right toes. You can flex the foot again. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, close it back in. Inhale, open chest. Exhale. Once more, open the chest, lift the gaze, stay. Inhale, place the left hand behind you, circle the right arm up. One inhale, sweep and open. Exhale, getting back into the side stretch. Two more. Inhale, circle it up, lift the hips, press down through all points of contact. Exhale, forearm down. Last one, all the way up. Maybe drop the head back. Exhale, down and fold, sit straight up, place the sole of the left foot to the mat and scooch forward, 
hop the left foot back, setting it up for lizard pose, drop the left knee down, untuck your left toes, so both hands are on the inside of your right foot, start to wiggle in here, maybe doing a little bit of some circles, and if it is available to you, feel free to climb down on your forearms, drop the chest down, keep the gaze lifted, so you don't need to be here, just see that you have a nice long line from your hips to the crown of the head, just keeping the energy flowing freely within you, not stopping it by crunching anything. And then come all the way up. Heel toe your right foot in, so it's straight in between your hands. Place the, your left toes down, lift the back knee, and scooch forward into standing split. You can lift halfway, inhale, and exhale, bow over your right leg, driving that left foot up towards the ceiling. By now, your right hamstring should feel pretty warmed up and long, but keep pressing down through the right foot. As you press down, feel how that creates even more space. Inhale, and with the exhale, Bring the right left knee to the chest, to the nose, round the spine, and step the left foot all the way through. Hop back. Bring both feet, legs out in front of you, arms up, inhale, exhale, fold, forward, fold. So just notice here how it feels, the difference between the two legs, the space that you created in the right side, Inhale to sit back up. From here we're gonna go and have a little try at the compass pose. So since we have warmed up the right leg, you're gonna bring the left leg around you. And we're actually gonna start by doing a little bit of a rock rocking the baby. You can start with the left leg straight out actually for a little bit more balance. So left hand grabs your right foot on the pinky toe edge. Right hand somewhere around the knee and start to circle out your hip here. Go first one direction and then the other, rocking a little bit back and forth. And when you feel ready, you can place your right foot into your left elbow crease. Your right elbow crease grabs the knee, pulling your chest up towards your shin. Keep sitting straight, don't lose it here, just keep sitting straight. And from here, now, you can either, if you want to, but you can uh, bring your left leg around the body, and you're gonna, still from here, you're gonna place your left hand on top of your right foot. So before it was under, now it's going on top. And you're going to start to snuggle your right shoulder as far under your, uh, your right knee crease as you can. Here, snuggle it up. And then you bring your right fingertips out to the mat. So right arm is straight. You can stay here and feel how that feels. Or you can start to straighten your right leg. And if you have straightened your right leg, then you can start to pull your chest through and maybe gaze up. So here it is, the compass pose. Also stretched, we also prepared your left side body with all of those stretches, so hopefully that feels good and open right now. And when you're ready, bring it back. Maybe you were here, wiggling it out the hip. Wherever you are, let's do a vinyasa, plant the palms, step it back, high plank, shift the weight forward, chaturanga, exhale, inhale, little upward facing dog, press down through your hands, exhale to downward facing dog. Take an inhale, come to your toes, gaze forward, jump or step, make it to the top of the mat, lift halfway, inhale, and exhale to fold. Widen between your feet, heels in, toes out, sink your hips down, malasana. Clasp your hands, index fingers, ready. Arms up, inhale, exhale, press it back up. For one inhale, 
and exhale, sink down. Inhale, press it up, exhale. Inhale, press through your heels, engage the core, exhale. Next, inhale, weight in your left foot, right knee up towards your armpit, exhale, malasana. Bring the left knee towards your armpit, exhale. Right knee, exhale. Left knee, exhale. Last one, right knee in, adjust the foot, toes forward. Place the sole of the right foot towards your left inner thigh. Press the thigh to the foot. Hands in front of your heart. Tree pose. And then place your right hand to the inside of your right thigh. Press the thigh out to the back. Extend the left arm to the ceiling. And feel that line of length from your left fingertips to the sole of the left foot. Take one inhale here, lower ribs are tucked. Exhale, hands in front of your heart, release the foot. Inhale, hinge forward, keep the heel to the glute and drive the toes towards the ceiling, lift the navel, bring the top of the head forward, inhale, stay, exhale. One more inhale and exhale, extend the right leg back, flex the foot, toes down, warrior three, one, inhale. Ooh, exhale, slowly lower, drop the back knee down, find your hands once again, inhale, Anjaneasana, exhale, sink down, drive through the, down through your left foot, the left heel, one inhale, exhale, one more inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, fingertips down, extend the left knee, Pull your left toes to the upper body. Inhale, lift halfway and exhale to fold. Get ready for those P and F. Press down through the heel. Bring it as you're pulling it towards your right knee. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bend into your left knee. Lift the chest just as a little release. And come back, Ardha Hanumanasana. Flex the foot, press down through the heel for five, four, three, two, one. Bend into the left knee. Come all the way up, inhale, arms to the ceiling, index fingers up, and exhale, straighten the left knee, fold forward, fingertips point straight forward. Inhale, lift open, sink the hips. And exhale to fold, keeping the balance down through the left heel. Inhale, lift the chest, open with between your shoulders. Exhale to fold. Once more, all the way up, inhale. And exhale, fold. This time, right fingertips to the inside of the left foot. Open your left arm to the ceiling. Find openness through across the chest. Tailbone draws back. Crown of the head draws forward, inhale, exhale. Inhale, bend your left knee, circle your left arm back in the right arm all the way up, stay, exhale. One more inhale, exhale. Next inhale, keep, make sure that the left, right toes are tucked. Lift the back knee up, exhale. One inhale, and now with the exhale, frame the front foot, plant the palms, round the spine, Hug the left knee to the chest. Inhale, sweep it up, three-legged downward facing dog. Stay, exhale. Inhale, drop the toes down, keep the legs straight. Exhale, bring it back up. When you do this, make sure that you engage your left glute. And try not to open the hip too much to the side, but try to keep your toes pointing down and make this Go into your glutes and your hip flexors. Once more, inhale, exhale up. Stay for the inhale, prepare and exhale. Bring the knee to the chest, step it all the way through. If you use the block, this is the way you bring them back. Fingertips to the mat, sink the hips, lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, rock onto the heel, fold into your modified pyramid pose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rock onto the heel, stretching through
through the entire backside of that left leg. Inhale, stretching the front of your right hip flexors. Exhale. This time, plant your right palm down, circle your left arm up to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, arm comes behind, still folding over your left leg. Circle the right left arm all the way down, forward and up. Exhale, hand comes behind and fold. Once more, all the way up and all the way to the fold. Last one, circle the arm up. One inhale, the exhale, turn your toes to the left. Your feet can stay as they are here. We're not gonna drop, we're just gonna press down through the pinky to edge of the feet to lift the hip even higher. Stay, crunch into your left waist, right waist, inhale, and exhale. Bring your toes forward, your left arm forward, and circle it all the way into Skandasana on the right side. Bend your right knee, pull your right left toes in towards your body. Bring it to center, goddess pose, heels in, toes out, lift the chest. Exhale, Skandasana to the right. Goddess at center. Exhale, Skandasana. Use the feet, goddess. Exhale. One last time to center. Into goddess pose, sink deep. And then Skandasana, bend the right. Sit all the way down. Place the sole of the right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Janus Chirsasana, inhale, extend your arms up. Exhale, pull your toes in as you fold. Stay. Keep active, down through the left leg. Feel the activation in the back of the leg, the hamstrings. Inhale to rise, rotate the upper body slightly more in, in between the legs. Left forearm to the inside, inhale, sweep your right arm up and exhale, drop it over. Stretching into your left, your right side body. Inhale and exhale. One inhale and exhale, drop your chest forward. Inhale to open, gaze up under your, the armpit. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, open, exhale. Once more, open it up, lift and open, exhale. Next inhale, plant your right palm behind you, circle the left arm up, bring the hip, drop the head, inhale, and exhale, circle all the way back to the side stretch, open between each little rib on your right side, inhale, open, stretching your hip flexors, and exhale, side stretch. One last time, all the way open, and exhale. Side stretch. Inhale, come sitting straight up. Plant your right foot down. Step it forward, step the right foot back. Both hands on the inside, sink your hips. Lower the back knee down. Lizard lunge, untuck the back toes. If you found the space on the first side to come down to your forearms, do that here to lower the chest down. Work into any wiggles that you feel like or be completely still. Totally up to you. And from here, come back up. Wiggle the left foot in between your hands. Fingertips slightly in front of the foot. And press down through your left Heel, driving the right foot up into your standing split. You can play with the balance here if you want to. Grab hold with your left hand of your left ankle. Or even try to grab the ankle with both hands. Maybe that is not my day for that today. That is really working your foot hard. But keep activating through the lifted leg. Out, out, all the way out into the toes. 
and release, fingertips down, hug your right knee into the nose, <coughs> around the spine, and then step it all the way through. Scoot yourself back so both legs are out in front. Make sure that the sit bones has contact with the mat. Arms rise with an inhale, exhale, fold into your seated forward fold. Now notice that both legs feel just, <coughs> excuse me, a tiny bit more equal. That there is the space inside of them is more equal compared to when we were in the forward fold last time. Inhale, sit all the way back up. This time we're gonna work with your left leg, so keep your right leg out in front of you. Your right hand grabs from underneath over the pinky toe edge of your left foot. Lift the chest and start to do those little rocks into your hip. And when you feel ready to switch directions, you do that. Rocking it back and forth. And if or when you feel ready, you can place the left foot into the elbow crease of your right arm. Your left hand armpit grabs, or elbow crease grabs the knee and start to do some wiggles. This most likely will deepen the stretch here on the back side or at the side of your hip and your hamstring. Keep lifting the chest and release, fold your right leg around the body and shift the grip of your right hand. So this time, right hand grabs from above or again towards the pinky toe edge. And you're gonna like swing your, your leg over your shoulder. So snuggle your shoulder as deep in as you can and then extend your left arm up. I prefer to bring the fingertips down. I think that is a, gives a nice length. And then inhale, maybe start to straighten the left leg. And when it's straightened, you can possibly start to open the chest, finding a little bit more space. And slowly release and come back. Nice work. We're not gonna do any final vinyasa. Just place the soles of your feet together. Wiggle it out a little bit. Flap your knees. And then roll all the way back into where we started, into the happy baby's pose. Very softly. And this time feel free to sway from side to side. Your hands grabbing the pinky toe edge of your feet. And bring your knees together, hug them in towards your chest. Take one inhale and exhale. Release your legs out along the mat. Drop your arms alongside your body. And before you rush off, just stay here for a couple of breaths to notice all the space, how it feels, the sensations, the vibrations, everything that is now in your hips, in the back of your legs, your hamstrings, in your hip flexors, in your side body. Just for a few breaths, be very aware of all of these sensations and how new spaces have opened up. When you feel ready, you can choose to stay in this Shavasana for as long as you please. I encourage you to take at least four minutes. That is usually what the body needs to completely settle. If you feel ready to move on with your day, gently make your way to into a seated position. Let 
your hands meet in front of your heart. Drop your chin slightly down towards your chest. Lower your shoulder blades down. Lift the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Take an inhale and find length along your spine. And then exhale to feel into your entire body and the points of contact down to the earth, to the ground. Gently blink your eyes open. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Well done with the compass pose. I hope to see you soon again. Namaste.